Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's lesson is on rational equations. Cabrini can run three miles an hour faster than Michael. Cabrini can run five miles in the same time it takes Michael to run three miles. Solve five over x plus three equals three over x to find out how fast Michael can run. Check the solution. Let's start off by writing this equation down. Five over x plus three equals three over x. Well, I can use cross products to solve here. I can first set this up so 5 times x is going to be equal to the other cross product of 3 times x plus 3. Well, this simplifies down into 5x equals, and if I distribute here, 3x plus 9. Next, subtract this 3x on both sides of the equation to get our variables on one side. 2x equals 9. Divide by 2 on both sides of our equation. And x is going to equal 4 and 1 half miles per hour. In order to check our solution now. If we start with the original equation, 5 over x plus 3 equals 3 over x, we would have 5 over, put in the 4 and a half for x, plus 3 would be 7 and a half, equals 3 over 4 and a half. And just typing these into a calculator, you would notice that you would get 0 0.6 repeating equals 0 0.6 repeating, so we're good to go. Our answer is x equals 4 and 1 half miles per hour. In example 2, we are going to use the least common denominator to solve rational equations. So we have 5 over x plus 1 minus 1 over x equals 2 over x squared plus x. Let's rewrite this to start. 5 over x plus 1 minus 1 over x equals 2 over x squared plus x. We first need to find the LCD of x plus 1 and x. Well, the LCD of x plus 1 and x is simply x times x plus 1. And so what we can do here is multiply both sides of our equation by this x times x plus 1. We will end up having x over x plus 1 times this 5 over x plus 1 minus x over x plus 1 times this 1 over x, and that will equal x times x plus 1 times 2 over x squared plus x. Now we can look to simplify these. This x plus 1 and this x plus 1 cancels out, as does this x and this x. And a neat thing happens over here. x times x plus 1, well, that's equal to x squared plus x. So that, too, just cancels out. And now we're left to kind of clean up the pieces here. We have 5x minus this quantity x plus 1, and that's going to equal 2. Well, this negative has to distribute to both of these. So what we have here is 5x minus x minus 1 equals 2. 5x minus x is 4x minus 1 equals 2. If I add 1 to both sides, we're left with 4x equals 3. And if I divide by 4 on both sides, I get x equals 3 fourths. And I actually did not mean to put check the solution on this example, so we could just stop right there. x equals 3 fourths. 
In example three, we have solved the equation and state any extraneous solutions. So 3x over x minus 1 plus 6x, this is going to be actually another typo, minus 9 over x minus 1 equals 6. So if we rewrite the problem, 3x over x minus 1 plus 6x minus 9 over x minus 1 equals 6. Our first step here is going to be to multiply by the LCD on both sides. So we're going to multiply by x minus 1 on both sides. Now this x minus 1 is actually going to be distributed here, and so we will have x minus 1 over 1, and that's going to be multiplied by 3x over x minus 1 plus that x minus 1 over 1 times 6x minus 9 over x minus 1. And that's going to equal, after we distribute this, 6x minus 6. And something neat happens here. We get to simplify. This x minus 1 simplifies with that x minus 1 to 1 and 1. This x minus 1 simplifies with that x minus 1 to 1 and 1. So as I rewrite these, we're left with 3x plus 6x minus 9 equals 6x minus 6. And if I combine like terms, 9x minus 9 equals 6x minus 6. Subtract the 6x from both sides and add 9 to both sides. What we're left with here that cancels, that cancels, 3x equals 3, and x equals 1. Now, the problem is, if we were to put 1 in, we would get 0 for our denominator. So this equation actually has no solution, and the extraneous solution is 1. Again, if you were to put that 1 in, you would have 0. And we can't do that, so moving on. In example 4, on Saturdays, Lee helps her father install satellite TV systems. The jobs normally take Lee's father about two and a half hours. But when Lee helps, the job only takes them one and a half hours. If Lee were installing a satellite system by herself, how long would the job take? Now let's make sure we understand the problem first. For Lee's father to do a job alone, it takes two and one half hours, which is the same thing as five halves of an hour. And if we think about how long or how much of the job he can get done in one hour, in one hour he can get two fifths of the job done in just one hour. The amount of work that Lee can get done in one hour is going to be 1 over t. And so what we're going to use is a formula here. Lee's work plus father's work equals the total work. So for Lee's work, this was 1 over t. For the father's work, this was 2 fifths. And that's going to equal the total work in just 1. Now since the time that it took both of them was one and a half hours. If I multiply the three halves, which is the same thing as one and a half, I would end up with three over two t plus three fifths equals one. Next, I want to multiply both sides by the LCD, which is 5 times 2t, or 
10t. I'm going to multiply both sides here by 10t. We're going to scroll up here to have a little bit more room. This means I'll have that 10t over 1 times this 3 over 2t plus the 10t over 1 times the 3 fifths. And that's simply going to equal, well, 10t. And now we can simplify. 2t and 5t, you can divide by 2t just to get 5. The 10t and the 5, you can divide out just to end up with 2t. And so now as we simplify this, 5 times 3 is 15, plus 2t times 3 is 6t, equals 10t. Now as we're getting near the end, subtract 6t from both sides. This cancels. We're left with 15 equals 4t. Divide by 4 on both sides. And our answer is 15 fourths of hours, which is the same thing as 3 and 3 fourths hours to complete the job by herself. So if we just take a second to go back through this to see how we got to the end. Since it takes Lee's father two and a half or five halves hours to install one job, he can finish two-fifths of the job in one hour. The amount of work Lee can do in one hour is represented by one over t. To determine how long it takes Lee to do the job, use the formula Lee's work plus the father's work is equal to, well, one job, or the total work. The time that it takes both of them was one and a half hours. And so if we multiply both these by three halves, we then have our 3 over 2t plus 3 fifths equals 1. And you can see as we use the LCD multiplied and simplified and got our equation and divided all the way to the end to get 3 and 3 fourths hours. In our last example, a bus leaves the station and travels an average of 50 miles per hour towards a city. Another bus leaves the same station 20 minutes later and travels to the same city traveling 60 miles per hour. How long will it take the second bus to pass the first bus? Let's make a table. Let's have our bus. Let's have our distance. Let's have our rate. And let's have our time. For bus 1, the distance is going to be d. The rate is 50 miles per hour. And the time is going to be t. For bus 2, our distance is still going to be d. Our rate this time is 60 miles per hour. And our time, well, it left 20 minutes later. And so what we're going to do is take our t and subtract that many hours. Well, 20 over 60 simplifies to 1 thirds, so we can take t minus one third to represent the fact that bus two left 20 minutes or one third of an hour after bus one. Now remember distance equals rate times time. And both distances are going to be the same here. So we can pretty much say that the rate times the time of bus one is going to equal the rate and the time of bus two since those two distances are going to be equal to each other. Then our rate, well that's going to be 50 times t for time for bus one is going to equal 60 times the t minus one third for bus two. We can now simplify and distribute. We have 50 t equals distribute and get 60 t and 60 times one third is, well, minus 20. If we go ahead and subtract the 60t from both sides, we end up with negative 10t equals negative 20. Divide by negative 10 on both sides, and t equals 
2. Now we're not done yet. t equals 2. However, this time is going to have to be equal to the t, which was 2, minus 1 third. And so if we go 2 minus 1 third, that's going to get us 1 and 2 thirds hours after the second bus leaves. Remember, we're asked, how long will it take the second bus to pass the first bus? Well, the first bus would have been traveling for two hours, but the second bus was traveling one and two-thirds hours to catch that first bus. And that is it for this lesson on rational equations. And I would like to tell you a story as we wrap this up. So here we go.